One of the most common questions we get is, how do I know whether I'm going to have enough clearance between the back of the cab of my truck and the nose of my trailer so that I can make a tight turn? Well, there's a real simple measurement that you can take to help determine this. And what you want to do is make sure that your trailer is leveled so that we've got a good level measurement. And I've made a, a simple mechanism like a plumb bob out of this piece of rope and a padlock. And what we'll do is, is you want to come to the extreme outer corner of the trailer and I've come up a little bit to allow for the curvature in the, in the fifth wheel nose right here on the outer corner and allow that string to hang nice and straight with the ground. Then you're going to take a tape measure, center this up in the exact center of the kingpin, and measure over to your plumb line. And right here we are at exactly 48 and a half inches. Now I'm going to take that measurement and show you whether or not you're going to have the clearance you need in the truck. Now with your fifth wheel hitch properly positioned in the truck, you can take your tape measure and put the end of the tape right in the center of where the kingpin would be in the jaws of your fifth wheel hitch. And we're going to measure out the 48 and a half inches that we measured earlier on the trailer. And then what you'll do is you'll pivot that tape measure using the, the end of the tape measure in the jaws as a, as a point of rotation. And as you can see right here at 48 and a half inches, we are going to contact the back glass of the truck when the truck and trailer is at about a 45 degree angle. Now, this may allow for turns under normal driving circumstances, but for tight quarters maneuvering, this truck would be a candidate for a sliding fifth wheel hitch.